John Cavellis here from Four Dog Stove up out here on the back 40 here in St. Francis, Minnesota. And we're uh, going to uh, uh, show you how to set up the Ultralight Four Dog Ultralight 2 Titanium Stove in uh, tent TP number nine. So let's get started. Here we got the stove and we got the tent. As you can see here, the tent tarp, floor tarp has been cut away to allow for the stove. You never want to place the stove on any sort of combustible material, okay? I always think you're in a cloth structure with a wood-burning stove, so think safety. So, we'll get started. What we got here for different components, of course, we have the stove stored inside the firebox. We have a three-piece set of nesting pipe. We've got an elbow. We have a titanium spark arrestor. We have another set of telescoping pipe. And we have what we call the pass-through sleeve, which will allow us to protect the fabric from the hot stove pipe. Okay. And we also have a side shelf, which we'll put up last. So the first thing we'll do, we'll set up the legs. Now I find in the tent teepee, the best position for the stove is right here, facing out. But you could also face it this way. So say you're sitting over there, you could feed the fire, or you can turn it in the opposite direction. You do have to stay with your pipe pretty straight because of the pass-through sleeve and to be able to protect the fabric where you go out of the tent. It's necessary to keep the pipe running awful straight through uh, from the stove through the uh, pass-through sleeve opening. Okay, now what we've got here to set this up in the tent teepee number nine, which would be very similar to any sort of teepee type tent where you have your stovepipe opening in the center of the tent. Where you need this extra length of stovepipe. The only thing you may not need if you already have a high temperature insert would be the pass-through sleeve. But in this type of tent, they utilize the pass-through sleeve. So what we'll do first, as you notice here, the pipe is numbered. What that means, it starts like one means on top of the stove, two is the next one, three, as progressively, and the arrow points up. So we'll start off by assembling, by putting number one, number one, number two, number three, we'll mount the damper into the stovepipe. As you can see, it slides in and out. Very simple, very efficient, works very well. Now, it changes a little bit how we're gonna do it because it's getting up a little bit higher. So what I'll do first here, I'll put these three pieces together, three pieces together. As you see here on these 20 inch sections, we need three pieces. If we were going to put it into the uh, number 15, we would need a total of eight pieces. Now, we get to here. Now we have to put our pass-through sleeve on. And we don't know exactly where that's going to have to go yet. So we'll just get it on here. It's going to probably be one on the second section of the pipe. Now what we have here, we've got self-tapping screws. So I suggest you can either use a nut driver or you can have a little pair of uh, uh, small vice grips, which is a great thing to have on the trail. You can use them as a pot gripper. You can use them as a uh, fixing how many things. You can use them as a little wrench, a pair of pliers, whatever. So they're a wonderful piece of kit to bring along. And I don't know exactly where we're gonna have to position this. So I'll just get this started. When using the tent teepee in uh, stove mode, you have to attach your screen open. And you also have to put your cord, adjustment cords, off to the side. You also have to make sure the Velcro is open on your canopy there for the pass-through sleeve. What the pass-through sleeve does, it allows you to have a dead air gap between the pipe and your fabric. 
I'll balance that out. I'm taking this just as an estimate here, but I'll show you how we do that from there. And we want to kind of balance these out when we're doing these. So it's kind of centered right exactly in the center. The one thing is I like to have the adjustment so you can change it if you have to, because then if you, uh, in the winter, you decide to put your, uh, your stove down in a cold well, like dig it down some. Now, as you can see here, do you see how we have that gap now around the pipe? And it's even or fairly even all the way around. Let's give it a try one more time. As I said, be careful of your uh, knitting. You can adjust once you know the size of your pipe, you can adjust your Velcro to where you make a nice tight seal. If it's a little bit bigger, that doesn't hurt a thing. Well, we're here on the outside and it looks to me like we just about got it perfect. We got it balanced out the pass-through sleeve, so we got about the same distance from the top of the uh, top cap where the pass-through sleeve comes out from the main tent and the same distance on the inside from the main uh, tent body. Uh, you can see we have about a 10 to 12 inch clearance from the end of the stovepipe and the spark arrest is plenty high above the peak. It uh, looks like we've got an ideal setup. And we're ready to start cooking and staying warm. Well, now that it looks good from the outside, let's put the finishing touches on and we'll put the tray on. As you can see here, that aids a great deal in our cooking. We want to start it up. Side tray set up. As you can see here, we got it all set up, ready to go. That's an ultralight two set up and a tent teepee number nine. You can see this total setup right here was 16 pounds. It all fits right into the firebox. It's made out of titanium for strength and durability. See, I really like the setup in a tent because you got all this stovepipe inside your tent. So you're getting the heat off of that exhaust. Plus your exhaust isn't cooling when you have half of it sitting outside the tent, especially in the very cold temperatures, which will affect your draw and your performance. So you're actually burning a stove hotter just to keep it drying. Whereas here you don't have to. So your efficiency is so much better. Your heat is rising, it's descending by the walls. You have a nice uniform warmth all the way around in the tent. And I would say uh, tent teepee and uh, the four dog titanium ultralight two is a uh, match made in heaven. And uh, I'd like to thank you for coming. And I think we're gonna start cooking up some grub and uh, getting ready to play cards and enjoy ourselves in the great outdoors. Thanks again for coming.